what's in my bag video and I absolutely love these kind of videos. I'm a, apparently a little bit of a nosy person. I didn't realize I was that nosy but I absolutely love these videos. So I'm gonna jump right in. This is my purse that I'm carrying right now. It is crazy heavy. Um, it's the Sam Edelman bag but it has the gold detailing which I really really like and has tons and tons of pockets. So we've got a pocket here, which I keep nothing in, a zipper pocket, and inside it has one huge pocket. I'm gonna show you what's in there in a minute. But it also has a pocket on the front and the exact same pocket mirrored on the back and it's like a magnetic closure and this is super awkward to pick up. Um, a magnetic closure that closes that. So these little flaps in the front are actually functional pockets. Felt like it was going to be a good fall bag because of the color. It's that beautiful like taupey gray. It's coming off very dark on screen right now. But if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I have issues with lighting. Everything seems dark. So the front pocket, like I said, is um, really just for looks with this bag. I don't put anything in here. But this guy, I keep just one thing, one thing only. And it is my 10 of Altoids. Um, I have these at all times. I do weddings. And so I always want to have fresh, fresh breath for my weddings. That's the first thing. In this first thing, I don't actually think I have anything in either of these pockets. Um, the front one is completely empty. And I think the back one's empty as well. I think maybe it just has my Sam Edelman tag. Actually, this might be helpful. Oh, yeah, this is the style Sylvie. So... That's the style of the purse. So actually, I don't have to look it up. Anyway, that there's nothing in those just because I had actually started putting my lip products in here, but it's not really convenient to get to. And then I noticed when I was putting stuff in the back, it was creating this line. And then when they would, when I would walk, it kind of rub on my jeans, and I was getting transfer from my denim, which I didn't like. So I took everything out of there, so there wasn't anything to kind of cause that. All right, um, inside there is these two pockets. Um, one is smaller than the other and one of them carries my iPhone and I have a Kate Spade um, case on my iPhone. I really like that, although I just broke it so I think I need to get another one. Um, which is good that the case broke and not my uh, phone. I have my keys for my car. This is all I really carry with me as far as for my car. I separate my house keys off my keychain. Um, I have my keys and it has my gym membership thing and my house keys and just a few little random things. This actually was a really cute keychain but apparently I've lost it. Anyway that is all I keep in the that pocket. Shove these things back in super quickly. In the zipper pocket in the back um, you're going to see a trend here. I am breath obsessed. I keep a pack of gum, which was on clearance for 88 cents at Target. And a pack of Tic Tacs. I do brush my teeth, but I just always am paranoid about bad breath. Like, obsessively paranoid. Obviously, I have three things. And then I have some random gift cards. And my purse. I actually think those are my daughter's. So that is all that's in the zipper pocket. Pocket, and now for the main pocket. The only things that are floating around loose are I have this pocket pocket back, right? That's what they're called. Um, papaya melon scoop. I just got this. I used to keep my sanitizer in here, but I learned the hard way that if sanitizer leaks out and gets on your products, like your makeup stuff. It destroys the finish of your um, pretty little bottles. So there's that. I'm going to show you this in a minute. I'm going to show you my wallet in a minute. I'm just going to dig down to the bottom and see what I have. I have my checkbook. Not super interesting. I always carry this little um, uh, brush um, that pops out and it has a mirror for doing my hair or my girl's hair throughout the day. I absolutely love that. I think it was. 99 cents or $1.09 at Sally's Beauty. I have this little pencil pouch, which I which I love. It's so adorable. It's kind of um, 
that material that the reusable bags are made out of. And inside I just have pens galore because I always need a pen and I'm obsessive about keeping pens in there and like keeping them in there. Um, like if somebody borrows a pen, I'm like, okay, go ahead and hand me that back. I had a thing of crackers that are totally crunched up from my daughter's um, soup the other day. I have two Starbucks little free things and then I have a coupon for Bath and Body Works. Um, all this stuff to me is not that interesting. Oh, and then what else do I have in here? I think this is a receipt for a van store. So that is that. Actually, that need to go out, so I'm glad that I'm doing that. All right. My wallet is the Hobo. Um, I want to say this is the Lauren is the brand of it. So this is where my ID goes. This is the worst picture of me. My credit cards, and there's just a random, that's actually my son's money that I'm holding on to for him. Inside there's this zipper pocket, which if you've never had a, or seen a Hobo International wallet, they are the best. They are so helpful. Um, in here is all kinds of random store cards, um, which most of them I have transferred onto my um, iPhone because there's an app that can, um, it's called Keyring, and it keeps track of all of your store cards. And most of them I've transferred to that. There's just a couple um, that I haven't because they didn't have a bar or an Arab code or anything. Anyway, this front pocket has random receipts and some cash. And then it has a huge zipper where I keep all my change, which, you know. The thing I love about this uh, wallet is it is easily a clutch too. I can take out my extra receipts and just like shove my iPhone in there and, um, so yeah, so that's really helpful. And then this one has some more cards and some literally, I say some, but literally so many receipts. These are important receipts that I feel like I, um, they're for maybe bigger purchases that I haven't had a chance to um, file away yet. And I want to make sure that I keep hold of those. Otherwise, I'll just throw them in the bag or throw them in the bottom of my purse. But these ones are ones that I want to make sure I have so then getting into what I would consider the fun stuff in my bag I have this large clear um, cosmetic bag and I picked this up at Target I think or maybe Walmart and um, I think it was like three or four dollars I don't know and I like having a clear bag because I like being able to see exactly what I want I'm going to go through this as fast, fast, fast as I can. I have tons of lip product in here. I mean, it's ridiculous how much lip product in here. I'm not going to go through each and every one. I'm just going to quickly show them to you. It's my Burt's Bee um, Ultra Moisturize, or Ultra Conditioner. Love that lip balm. I have a MAC lipstick. I have a Chanel lipstick. Well, this is a Rouge Volept, I think, and it's kind of a lipstick gloss combo. I have an Hourglass lip gloss, I have a Dior lipstick, I have a, I said Rouge Volept for this, but that was a lie. This is the YSL Rouge Volept, I can't remember what these are called. This is a Rouge Allure. I have another MAC lipstick, I am still not done. I have a Cargo lip gloss, I have a Revlon lip butter, and I know this seems totally ridiculous. As I'm going through it, I'm like, this is kind of ridiculous. I have a soft lips and I have a baby lips. So those are all my lip products. I cannot believe how many of those I have. It's kind of ridiculous, but I love lip products. Love, love, love them. Okay, I have a little perfume roller ball. This is the Viva La Juicy. I love, smells like this. I'm a huge fan of Viva La Juicy. I really like the new one, the Fleur de Juicy or Fleur Viva La Juicy. I'm not sure how it's what it's called, but really like that. It's the most, I think it's a really pretty scent. I have a mirror in here. Um, although I don't technically need this because I have the one on my brush, I am, um, I'm not even going to bother to open it. It's just a little pretty mirror. Um, and it has like mother of pearl and like rhinestones. It's really pretty. I really like that. I have my little pill container. I stinking love this thing. I picked it up at a little store. Um, 
and I absolutely love it. I always have like um, a leave or Tylenol or something for headaches because I tend to get headaches a lot like when I'm out or if I've been driving a lot my head will start hurting. Cuticle oil. Contact solution because I wear contacts. And because I do wear contacts, I have an extra pair of contacts. A little wisp that I keep. I have one left, um, but these are just like on the go little toothbrush things. And I love these for work. I always have them because if I am doing a wedding and then halfway through the meal, I or I mean I go out to have my dinner, I don't want to come back in with food in my teeth. And um, a lot of times, you know, wedding food is kind of rich and good and yummy and I want to be able to clean my teeth. So, I mean, I'm not getting a full brush, but that really, really works. I have some medicine that I'm taking, my um, inhaler, and nail clippers, because I always seem to break my nails when I'm out and about. So that is it. That is everything that's in my purse. I'm amazed I got through that in a somewhat reasonable time fashion. I feel like I talk so long. So anyway, if you'd enjoy this video, just give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, I really appreciate the comments. Nothing mean, please. But anyway, that's it. All right. You guys have a good day. Bye.